What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today of the frag tank. The frag tank is a 20 gallon long non-drilled and uh, I'm running the coral box LED on there. I got it from uh, Reef Breeders and uh, it's a Wi-Fi light. I had a lot of people ask me how is the light doing with the corals and I'm going to show you guys. I think this light will do perfect on a cube. Um, as you can see, I have it on a 20 long, which is a lot bigger than 20 inches by 20 inches. But it's doing pretty good for having just uh, softies in here. I have uh, leathers, zoas, and a, a piece of uh, digi that I got from Javier. Um, and it's doing pretty good. The green light is on. That's saying that it's connected and running its program. The uh, controllability of it. It's pretty awesome because it has like some built-in features for the if, for your tank already, but I'm using the uh, manual features um, by by saying that they have an SPS setting and an LPS setting, but uh, I'm not running those. I made my own little custom uh, setting. I do have this light peak at about 60% during the daytime, and uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. You do have to get an app. Uh, you do have to have either an Android phone or an Apple iOS uh, phone because it will not work on tablets. At least I couldn't get it to work on a tablet. So as far as this tank, this 20 gallon long, I'm just going to use it for uh, softies, mainly zoas, cloves, um, just things in my tank that are overgrowing and I, I don't want to keep in the uh, big tank. Um, I would recommend this light um, if you're looking for a good light. Go to uh, reefbreeders.com. They usually sell them there. And also occasionally on their uh, Facebook page, like them. And uh, they come up with sales. This tank is also serving as my uh, quarantine tank. Um, it's not a true quarantine tank. Basically, it's an observation tank. You know, I'll put fish in here. Uh, make sure that they're okay and eating. Uh, when I get a little confident from them, I'll go ahead and put them in the uh, 180. But... Uh, as far as filtration, I'm just using a hang on back filtration. Uh, I'm using the Fluva. It's working pretty good. I have a, a heater in there. And uh, recently I picked up a protein skimmer. Um, those of you who follow me on Instagram uh, have already seen it. Those of you who ha have not or don't have an Instagram or would like to follow me, go ahead. It's the same uh, username, 915mang. Um, and uh, this tank is doing good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get some more snails. Uh, I did get some over the weekend and I added them in here, which is why my egg crate is a little bit clean. And because uh, it was getting a little bit dirty, I did what I did uh, see from D from Brooklyn. The man has guppies in his tank. And uh, I was wondering if uh, black mollies would work because I do like the uh, black mollies. And what the guppies do is uh, they eat uh, algae. So I think that would be a, a pretty cool addition to this tank. Um, I really don't really want to get too many fish for this tank. Maybe maybe like some clowns or something like that but uh, and some guppies. But other than that, uh, I really don't want to have a whole lot of fish in this tank. Now, like I said, I did uh, get a protein skimmer. I picked up an Aquamax uh, hang-on-back protein skimmer. You know, I was thinking about drilling the 20-gallon uh, and... Uh, but I just decided I'll just do hang on back equipment, hang on back filter, hang on back protein skimmer, and just keep it really, really simple. Um, like I said, uh, what I love about reefing is, you know, you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. And uh, for me, I'm just going to go with the simple route and show everybody that you don't have to have a drill tank and all that. It is preferred, but uh, for me, this setup is just going to be hang on back. Um, another thing, if you do want to get a 20 gallon long, uh, or, or a tank up to, uh, I think up to 55 or 75 gallons, Petco is doing their dollar per gallon sale right now. And it's a, a great time to get a 20 gallon or a 10 gallon tank or 40 gallon breeder. You know, I really like those 40 gallon breeders, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I keep saying no, and I'm going to stick with this, uh, 20 gallon for now. That's not to say that I'm not going to get another tank. Um, I do like the Innovative Marine uh, tanks. I've been looking at those. Uh, 
and I'm looking at the either 30 now. I was looking at the 25 Lagoon, but now I'm looking at those 30 gallon fusions or something along those lines. Um, but uh, the skimmer, let's get to the skimmer. This is a good skimmer. Uh, I was pretty impressed by the amount of skimmate that it produced. Um, these little bubbles that it does let out does make a salt creep. Um, it's not really a big deal, it, it, but I'm just telling you it does make a salt creep and so does my hang on back filter. So I just get some RLDI, uh, spray it down and then wipe it off and it's good to go. But uh, it does make some uh, salt creep and priming it, priming it was a little bit uh, difficult. I did pour water in the uh, skimmer, and but it took a little little bit of uh, a while to get started. What I did do is I got this uh, yellow tube this that feeds the uh, skimmer and as you can see it's kicking ass. It does all all these little bubbles and I, I was pretty impressed by the Aquamax line of skimmers. Um, I've seen them a lot on the Marine Depot videos but what Marine Depot doesn't do they won't show you the uh, skimming and as you can see these uh, bubbles are just going um, it's a size pump, or I like to say Sichi, but it's uh, one of those size Italian pumps, and it does really good. But anyways, back to get me having a hard time uh, priming it. All I had to do was hold, pinch the uh, yellow tubing, and then it started going from there. I did shop around for skimmers. I was really looking at those Reef Octopus uh, Hang On Back skimmers. I don't know, remember what model it was, but it was. Uh, I know they sell it on Bulk Reef Supply, and uh, it's red. Um, I was really thinking about that, but I had nightmares from when I had the uh, classic uh, NW skimmer, which was a Reef Octopus skimmer, and it kicked butt. Um, I had it when I first started reefing because it did really good, but it was so loud, um, which is kind of the reason why I stayed away from Reef Octopus. Um, I know that they've probably gotten better now, but the air sil silencer was so loud that I would be able to... Uh, hear it in my uh, bedroom so this skimmer right here in a bedroom uh, wouldn't be too bad um, it's actually pretty silent but the thing that you can hear is the bubbles coming up from the uh, that outlet as you can see the uh, skim mate it's pretty dark very nasty very stinky but um, overall it's a, a great uh, product to add to your tank um, I wasn't really going to get too serious with having a 20 gallon long, but uh, as you can see, I added a skimmer, got a um, decent hang on back filter, and uh, I'm going to be adding a, uh, my auto top off to this because the way I've been topping it off is just with a uh, 5 gallon bucket. The good thing is uh, I do have a auto top off. I have my Tunzi or Tunes or whatever you want to say, but I have the uh, very nice auto top off. I was going to sell it locally, but I decided to keep it, and I'm going to add it to this tank. Um, another thing that I want to do to this tank is I actually want to aquascape it. I don't really necessarily want to keep a crate, an egg crate tank. Um, I think I do have a little bit of uh, issues having a 20-gallon and also a 180-gallon, plus the sump and all that good stuff, you know, total water, water volume. But... Uh, I just want to have one tank, but I don't think it's possible having so many frags because, you know, unless you want to have a 180 display just full of frags and all over on the glass and things like that. So I think this tank is necessary. Um, but other than that, my Zoa collections right here, it's just going to keep growing. I'm, I'm not really selling locally. Um, if somebody asks me then and they want something, then, you know, maybe I'm more into uh, trading, like I said. But uh, this is just an addiction. You know, either you're with it or you're not. Um, and uh, for me, as you can see, I'm with it. Just trying to grow stuff and uh, have things to trade later on. Also want to start pitting some sticks in here. Um, I do have this Digi right here that I picked up from Javier. Uh, he pretty much gave it to me because I didn't have any live rock in this tank. All I had was this uh, Matrix. And the matrix is where all the beneficial bacteria is living. Um, but I do want to add some, uh, I'm thinking about some shelf rock. Uh, and just make a cool little aquascape for some zoas and things like that. Uh, grow them out. 
and uh maybe some pecani rock um just some some type of dry rock in here make it like a cool little scape and a little bit more natural uh, i still might add some uh, sand but i did add a whole bunch of uh, turbos which i picked up from my lfs uh, just to clean up the a crate and all of that good stuff but then again i'm struggling with uh, the innovative marine tanks been looking at those a lot um, i've also been looking at some uh, aquamax 12 gallon longs they also have a 22 gallon long and uh, the 12 gallon longs are are pretty cool for an office tank but uh, i've been looking at the innovative marine tanks and i'm i'm kind of looking at the 30 gallon when i have a chance but i'm going to tell you it's either that uh, a 30 gallon or i'm also looking at um a barbecue grill kind of uh, looking into saving up for one of those smokers offset smokers and uh, those things aren't cheap but uh, i like to learn how to do some ribs or something like that and uh, grill out so maybe i should start selling some frags save up for that grill and uh, go from there but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video keep you updated let you guys know what's going on in the tank haven't done so like and subscribe usually put out weekly videos i usually try to do that you know but sometimes i get a little busy and anyways hope you guys have a good one take care like and subscribe and have a good one